How do you invest your money? Actually investing, I invest on traveling. <laughs> What's the best part of your job? Finding people that are laundering money, finding criminals. And what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a performer and a teacher. If you become a millionaire, what would you do first thing? I don't want to pay taxes. What's um, the biggest purchase you ever made? Like a bag, I think. Louis Vuitton? Almost a thousand, I think. Per week, uh, how many times you go to the pub? Two times, probably. I lead a simple life. I don't go out, I don't drink, I don't eat out. If it is reality, we have to get married with you. <laughs> don't spend your money on loads of beer. Don't go out on the weekends. And this guy promised you he's quitting alcohol, quitting from splurging money. In the future, do you have any business idea? I want to be a housewife. <laughs> so. Housewife? Yo, welcome and welcome back to my channel again. Today I'm going to interview people to know what do they do for a living. As always, we are learning from people. We have a lot to learn from people. So stick till the end because I have a great news to share with you. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's go to interview them. Hello, your name, age and where are you from? My name is Paula. I'm from Poland and I'm 28. Sharon, uh, I'm 21 and I'm from the UK. Louis, I'm 22 and I'm from the UK. I'm Julie, I'm from Denmark and I'm 22. Right. Great, so you? Uh, I'm Mirto, I'm from Greece and I'm also 22. Hello, your name, age and where are you from? Bethany, 27 and from London. And you? Uh, Courtney, 23 from Essex. Hi, I'm Clara, I'm 18 and I'm from Slovenia. Hi, I'm Taya, I'm 16 and I'm also from Slovenia. Hello, your name, age and where are you from? I'm from Venezuela, I'm my name is Dairene, I'm 24, 25 years old. <laughs> that was last week, my birthday, sorry. Wow, congratulations, <laughs> happy you. birthday. Thank you. Okay, how about you? Uh, Angela, 25, and from the Netherlands. We're right. both from the Netherlands, actually. Hasi, 25, and London. I'm from Czech Republic, and my name is Andrea. What do you do for work? I work in iGaming, in payments, risk, and fraud. How long are you are in that career? Three years. Okay, so <laughs> what's the best part of your job? Finding people that are laundering money, finding criminals. How much you are laundering? How much I'm laundering? Yeah. I can't tell you that. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Uh, I work as a support worker at the hospital. For how long you are working? there? Uh, three and a half years. Is it a profitable career? Yeah and no. Minimum wage. Why did you choose for starting to work there? Mainly I like looking after people. That's the only reason? Yeah. How about you? What do you do for a living? I work, I'm a silo construction artist. I build silos for right. farms, you know, back in the UK. Is it for Gen Z people? Not really, no. It's been about for a while. Only recently just got into it. But uh, What yeah. made you to choose that career path? It was just available, to be honest. I work on an iGaming company as customer support. In Malta? Yeah. For how long you are working there? Seven months already. Well, that's good. How about you? The same, but in a different company. You live in Malta and work yeah. here, yeah? Yeah, we're roommates. Okay, yeah. that's great. Um, I'm a performer and a teacher. Um, what do you mean, performer? What do you perform? Um, like dance, acting, singing. We work for a theatre company in London, North London, and they teach and they and we perform as well. Is that a profitable career? It's a charity. It is a profitable, yeah. How about you? You are the same? Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah, we both work for an inclusive theatre company in London. Yeah, we teach. Even you work in a charity organisation, but still you make money, yeah? Yeah. Uh, we're actually still in school, but we're learning to become a hairdressers. Why you want to be a hairdresser? I don't know. I like everything about it. Everything. You do your own hair? Uh, yes, I do. No, no. Like, I don't bleach my hair, uh -huh. uh, but everything else. So, why you want to be a hairdresser? Um, you know, to make people happy. They look beautiful when they have pretty hair and yeah, that's it. Really? Yes. Wow, you confused me. How about my hairstyle right now? Is it sexy enough? No. <laughs> Maybe a little bit fade. Okay, some you would do it. You would do okay, it. Okay, okay, sure. Right. I work as an all-around employee at a five-star hotel, actually, mm -hmm. while still finishing my studies. You work in Netherlands? Yes, I was born and raised in the Netherlands. That's great. How about you? What do you do for a living? The same as her. To be honest, we're yeah. colleagues. <laughs> okay. we study. That's great. So, but you also work in a hotel? Yeah. Is it like a student job or the full time? Uh, no, it's a part time, but I mean, it can be for everyone. Okay. What do you do for a living? I'm a CRM marketer, so I send emails for companies basically. For yeah. how long? Two years. Are you happy with that, what you are doing? My current role, yeah. 
very much so. So how did you start with that career? I found it on LinkedIn and then I've been in the same industry for like five years now. And what do you do for a living? For I'm a student. What do you study? Uh, economy. Uh, in a university? Yeah. Why do you want to study in economics? I like math and it's interesting for me. Uh, what's your future goal? Uh, I don't know. I will see. Okay. How old are you? I'm 22. 22 years old and you are studying in economics. You don't know what to do in the future. I know, but I just want to keep it for myself. <laughs> How much do you make per year? 33k. Is that enough for living comfortably? Yeah. Although prices have risen in Malta, but I lead a simple life. I don't go out, I don't drink, I don't eat out. So if you say this one and if it is reality, we have to get married with you. <laughs> I'm joking. So, how do you spend or invest your money? I don't invest. I spend on adventures and experiences, new experiences. What do you mean adventure and experiences? Can you elaborate it a bit? Like going kayaking or going hiking. Um, yeah, more like adventurous things, like not going out, trying new things, new experiences, going to like conscious events, ecstatic dances, women's circles. Women's kind of circles. Events something interesting to me yeah I want yeah, to be in you, you would fit right in definitely. really yeah okay can you can you invite us so we can go there so women's circles they're beautiful beautiful events where women join together uh, and they chit chat uh, they have heart-to-heart -heart conversations they drink cacao so there's a cacao ceremony as well that ceremony is something interesting to me, cacao. <laughs> Being in your position, doing what you do, how much can we make per month? £1,700 a month, yeah, something about that. Is that enough to cover up your all expenses and living in a comfort zone? Oh yeah, it covers pretty much everything, but mm -hmm. it soon goes, yeah. How about you? Being in your position, how much can we make per month? About two, two, grand. two grand. Yeah. Is that okay for you to make two grand for per month? Yeah, kind of. I'd like to make a bit more. Quite expensive, like... But do you know how can you make more than that. More hours. <laughs> yeah, more. Is that the only way to make more money? Probably not necessarily, but... Mm -hmm. How do you invest your money? I mean, I, I save. I've tried investing it into like stocks and whatever, but I just feel like it's a, it's a long game. Just waiting a lot. It is a long game and you don't want to be in or you want to make faster money? Yeah, faster money, yeah. Is it efficient way to invest your money for the long term or short term? Yeah, it's a short term, yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's say that you invest your money 10 grand for this month and you want to make 20 grand for next month. What would you do with that money? Like you are doubling your money in a month. What would you do with that money? Not sure. Um, probably do the same. What would you do? I don't know. I mean, if it was a bit more money, then you can invest in stuff like properties and stuff like that. And then you like... Oh, yeah, properties. Yeah, that's it. Because yeah. that's when Houses. you can like make yeah. your money. Because if, like, if you had like a property that you could rent out, mm -hmm. then you're constantly making more money. You are together, you are in a relationship. Yep. For yep. how long? Uh, it's been about just three over years, yeah, three years. So it's, I would say, quite a long year for today's world. But do you talk about saving, investing or spending or doing any calculation in your finances or you just don't care about it? Uh, we do talk about it. like we talk about it, but I know we should care money. about it more. Obviously, she's better at saving than me. I, I tend to just spend my money like just without any limit, to be honest. Like, <laughs> what are you spending your money mainly? Uh, food. Alcohol. Alcohol, food. Just going out. But yeah, it's, it's not the right way to live. I know that. I should be saving it. Do you want to have your own turning point or you want to continue with this path? Yeah, I don't want to continue with this path, though. I want, I want to like be money smart. What are you waiting for? I don't know, to be honest with you. I mean, we've just come on holiday, so I feel like probably after this I'll start saving money. You more. promise for our community? I promise you I'll, I'll start saving money. Definitely, yeah. Okay, what would you do with that money for saving part? Probably save up for a house, get a deposit on an house. Back in the UK, that's about it really. I don't really know what else I'd be saving for. Uh, I'm over six months here, so I pass probation, I get more now. But I don't remember how much I get per year. After probation, it's 23 without bonuses, but I get bonuses every month. So I will say around 1.8, 1.9 per month. How do you invest your money? <laughs> invest, like actually investing, I invest on traveling. <laughs> Is it investing or spending? It's investing because like by the time I travel it's actually free. So it's So you are 
spending your money for traveling and at the same time you think that it's investing, yes? It's invest in my experiences. Mm -hmm. I get many things back, so yeah, it's an investment, especially in my age. Like, Do you remember what type of experience you ever received from your traveling and you thought that this is worth of your money? Going to different places like outside of Europe, it's very different. I change my mindset, I see how other people live and how more privileged I am sometimes. That thing on its own is worth it. Good answer. Do you invest your money? Yeah, but I think I'm more invested in like cafes and stuff, <laughs> shopping and yeah. But also traveling, but I've only been here for like a month now, so... Yeah. Great, and you said that you are spending some money for shopping, yes? Yeah. What is the biggest purchase you ever made? Like a bag, I think. Yeah, like well, a Louis Vuitton? No, YSL. <laughs> for how yeah. much you pay for that? Almost a thousand, I think. Being in your position, how much can we make in the UK? Not that much. <laughs> <laughs> Give us not a range. Much. It isn't like, it's not a lot of money, but we do it because we love it. So if you love your career and yeah. if you love what you do, yeah. is it important to do it or still you have to figure out how to pay your bills? Of course you have to, you have to pay your bills, but I think we're in the, the kind of job where we don't do it for the money really, mm -hmm. you know? Is it also the same for you? Yeah, definitely. Do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. So I do put it, as long as I have enough money to eat, then I will work there because I love it. Well, it depends on your availability. So if you work at least 10 to 20 hours per week, you will get around... Shit, I'm not really good with math you right now. You don't even check your bank account. No, but if you do at least uh, over 60 hours per month, you will get more than a thousand euros, I think. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait, 60 hours per week? Per month. Per month. Per month. Ah, okay, okay. So I get confused like a 60. <laughs> How can you get? <laughs> it's like slavery job. <laughs> it's the same for you, yes? Yeah, but that's also very personal, of course. Like we still study full time, but we work possibly, I think, like around 20 hours per week. So that's around 60 hours per month. Uh, so yeah, around 1250 I would say, yeah. yeah. Great. Being in your 20s, how you invest your money? I strongly believe in the fact that uh, in your 20s you can do a lot of things and see whether it works out or not. So of course I have my savings, but I'm not mainly focused on my savings. I'm focused on the fact that I do not have a full-time job with like stick vacation days to take now. Mm -hmm. So in my final two years I will focus on making money but also traveling, see things. Now I can because that's just like the choice that I even have. When I work you need to think three times before you decide to come to Malta for like a week or two or go over there for like a weekend. So it's really what you're focused on mainly. So my savings is not my priority at the moment but I do check everything. We pay for everything, my own studies, my own rents. It's hard to work a lot besides your studies and see family and friends, but it's worth it. It's really what you like to do. Great answer. I really liked it. How about you? How do you yeah. invest your money, your millions? I'm missing my money on... The thing is, I'm a person who also lives by the day and by the time. I'm not thinking like completely ahead. And what I'm thinking ahead is just like finishing my studies and trying to find a job for now. We will see afterwards, but for now I just try to live as much as I can. Actually, I go on trips. Uh, this year, I think around 10 cities I have visited already. So it depends. She is yeah. Latina. That's why she doesn't think about tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. yeah, for me, it's just traveling is what fills me. Mm -hmm. So I would just spend my money on that. And I, I don't care about the savings. I mean, I do save. I try to save as much as I can. But if you are saving for spending. Exactly. Being in your position, yeah. how much can we make in London or in the UK or no? Well, probably starting £28,000. I've seen jobs up to 80000 but that's... You are in 60,000 range? Yeah, sort of low 60, yeah. All right. How do you invest your money? Very poorly at the moment. Very poorly. <laughs> Yeah. But I'm on holiday, um, yeah. very poorly. I'm not. Rent is expensive in London, so. Yeah, but how do you invest? You don't invest anything. No, nothing. Absolutely. Really? Nothing. So yeah. let's say that you make 50 grand per year, and you are yep. splurging, girl, or you are spending for your expenses. Spending, saving a little bit, but mostly just living, spending. London's expensive. Why you don't want to move around? Stability. Everything I like. All my friends are in London. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy in England for now. Traveling when I can rather than moving away and not having the same job prospects, maybe. How do you make money? From modeling. Okay, you are modeling. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, paying well for you to cover all your expenses? Yeah, in 
in check, it's it's okay. For each shooting, how long it takes for you? It depends of type of shooting. For mm -hmm. example, campaigns could be like one week or three days. Okay. And simple commercial, it's for just eight hours. Okay. You are a famous model in Czech Republic? Not too famous, but mm -hmm. some like in the middle. Okay, <laughs> great. Thank you very much for sharing with us. How do you invest your money? I would like to like save them for future for my kids you are married or single no 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 just i have a boyfriend but we want to stay together so mm -hmm. we are planning our future is he supportive of your yeah. career what you are doing modeling yeah, yeah. he yeah. supports me a lot you said that you are spending your money not investing uh -huh. but you, do you have any plan in the future you want to start a business or whatever yes yes i want yeah. to open up my own guest house one day the sunshine house Mm -hmm. In Malta? I'll mm -hmm. figure it out one day, but possibly maybe yes. But I think Malta is a good place for it. Yeah, great that you have something in your mind and you are planning to do something. But why you are not starting right now? Or like last year, why you didn't start? I'm still getting to know the market. So like I'm mm -hmm. traveling, I'm going to lots of different hostels, guest houses, abroad to get, get more inspiration. You mean like you are getting some ground information how to operate it, how to start a business, yeah? Kind of, like learning, like, mm -hmm. you know, speculating, going going to different accommodations and mm -hmm. seeing how, how it works. Instead of going uh, somewhere like a guest house and paying for a night to staying there to experience mm -hmm. how they are operating the business, why you are not paying for someone who is in that business to be your mentor? I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. It sounds guess, interesting. So, but Yeah, I mean, I have a vision for this guest house, but I guess I'll get to it after I'm 30. That's the plan, you know, but I'm, I'm building this, this idea in my head. Okay, let me tell you one uh -huh. thing. We have some investors watching our channel uh -huh. they are also looking for some potential ideas to invest their money mm -hmm. if you pitch well you will find your investors probably uh -huh. okay what you need why you want to start that business why should they invest on you oh you want me to tell you now are you sure because i've got a lot of love in my heart and i hope i want to open up a business not mm -hmm. solely for money but from the heart mm -hmm. uh, so i want to lead with the heart lead with love and create a place for people to connect i want this guest house to not just be a guest house just for making money off tourists but a place also where there's going to be a small little community center where you can do like yeah women's circles maybe yoga classes uh, knitting circles. Uh, knitting? Yeah, I mean crocheting, knitting, whatever. Good, okay, it will be cat house, I would say. <laughs> uh, not a cat house, I don't like cats. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, so how much money you need for starting your business? Uh, just give some rough idea. I have no idea. I haven't even looked into this. What are you waiting for? You have an yeah. idea, you want to start, but you are waiting two more years. Well, I don't know what... Uh, I don't even know the prices of properties in Malta, okay. so I don't know. Okay, this is yeah. a rough idea and raw idea. You Hopefully you will me. make it. Maybe. Definitely, yeah. yeah, watch our channel. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe. Mm -hmm. But I don't know yet. Eyelash extensions. Okay. But I don't know yet. Right now I'm just like starting a settling in and stuff mm -hmm. like here in Malta. So. so you want to start your own a beauty salon or something like that or to maybe. sell the product? Yeah, maybe. I don't know yet, but it's just uh, like a small idea and I have in my mind. But I mean, right now I'm good as I am and stuff. What? I want to be a housewife. <laughs> so Housewife? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh. So, so I mean, if my husband cannot like make the money, I will do it then. <laughs> uh, so you are aiming yourself to find a rich husband so you don't need to make money. So in case if he doesn't make money, so you can cover up. Yeah, that's kind of the mindset, I think. <laughs> I mean, I have a fiancé now, but so... Right, I hope he is aware of that, what you are saying. <laughs> he is, he is, but then, yeah, he also, like, wants something from me, and then it's like, win-win. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you? Do you have any business idea to start in the future? Uh, I have many ideas, but I haven't started anything yet. <laughs> but it's completely different from Julie. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I thought it's not... <laughs> um, like, more like digital marketing, events planning, something like that. I would be more interested like that, building something on my own, but something experience based, like I was saying before, like uh, I wanted to create maybe an experience for tourists, I don't know about Malta, maybe in Malta, but I have to save money first, like, okay, I was joking before that I, like, I spend all my money on traveling, but 
of course, like I want to start saving more. It's just that because I just moved here, so first, like I want to se get settled. But do you have any plan in the future to find your path and maybe you want to start your own business also? I haven't thought about it. It's always something that's possible. We've spoken about maybe setting up little things, but I think we, I'll always work there. But maybe you'll set up a little side hustle later yeah. in life. We're in our careers at the moment and we love it. So we, we wouldn't change it, but yeah, we might do like, you know, little dance classes or something like that. You What's know your what side mean? hustle idea? Dance classes, mm -hmm. maybe for kids. Yeah. We've, okay. we've talked about like baby dance and stuff like that. But why you are not performing in front of a camera or to post on social media? We do. Yeah? We do. Well, that's great. Shout out your page. Oh, um, okay. At bethanygrace.dance. That's great. So people will that's watch your Instagram. dancing. Yeah, that's my Instagram. So. Now my mom is also a hairdresser, so I will take her salon. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I would like to be professional and... Great. So how about you? Do you have any business idea? Oh, uh, well, I want to have my own salon. What do you need to have for having your own salon? Well, first of all, I have to finish my school. Mm -hmm. And then I think I will maybe work in some salon so I can learn some more. And then in like 10 years, then I will open my salon. If you become a millionaire, what would you do with that money? I will buy a car and motorci motorcycle. Why? I don't know, it's cool and I will travel the world, I will help the, uh, help the family, that's the first thing, probably, right. then everything else. Do you want to be a millionaire? I don't know. There are some fun parts and there are not so fun parts. What is the not so fun part about being a millionaire? I think people use you for your money, that's like one of the main stuff people do now, like he has money, go for him. I that's don't know. it? Yeah. yeah, money can buy us happiness. Money can buy happiness? No. No? I don't think so. I mean, okay, cars, okay. I'm cars make you happy? Yes. Okay, <laughs> so you buy car with your money? Yes. Automatically money makes you happy? Yeah. I would like to do something in fashion. Mm -hmm. So, because I have some experience with modeling. It is like a designing company you want uh, to start? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Have you started yet or not? No, but I have some my small business plans, so... Mm -hmm. You are not working on it? No. What type of business you have in your mind, beside the designing or beside the fashion? Like about uh, styling mm -hmm. or makeup, this, these two ways. Okay. And you don't work at all? No. Do you have any goal in the future you want to start your own business? Yeah, at some point it would be cool to go freelance and just email whoever I wanted and work for smaller companies. Not immediately, but it would be cool for the future. But uh, do you know what you need to start your business? I'd like to think I would, yeah. I think I know enough. You don't have a plan what you want to start, what you want to do? Uh, I know I would want to do freelance CRM marketing for companies, but I don't have any intention to sort of start that yet. It's been more than five years you are working in the industry. Why you are not getting some grounds so you can start? Uh, it's just not in, Lo in London. There will be people with a lot more experience by oh, now. Man. So it's, I still need to, need to gain some more. And also I like being in a big company at the moment. I don't want to work on my uh, own yet. I think you are overthinking. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Because right now you are working for a company you don't have and like much intention to learn more but as soon as you start your own business you have to learn and that yeah yeah we don't have any yeah i just need the stability for a couple of years and then i can do it do you want to be a millionaire in the future find a very hard question it sounds very nice but that's also because i didn't like think about it when you think what it takes to become a like a millionaire i'm not sure because i value my family and friends a lot so i feel like that is something you have to give up in order to become a millionaire in a sense what about you two what like about what, me yeah, what yeah. About, what about you? I am already a millionaire. Ah. I'm talking with you really. I'm doing what I like, what I love. That's important. I feel I'm a millionaire. So, exactly. oh, yeah. you want to be a millionaire or no? Yeah. Why not? But <laughs> I don't want spending wanna, more. But I don't want to pay taxes. If you become a millionaire, what would you do first thing? Buy a house for my family in Netherlands. No. She doesn't like Netherlands. No, Why do you live there? It's not that I don't like it, but I know that my family won't. So mm. I will do like, I don't know, in the Caribbean islands. Everything she is answering related to traveling, related to Caribbean islands. <laughs> I like it, yeah, I like yeah, She's water. a free. <laughs> she's, she's into sailing. No, actually not like that. I don't want to like... It depends. Whatever, I'm asking, you say it depends, like, yeah, it depends. I mean, like, no. I mean yes everyone, or no? I, everyone wants to be a millionaire somehow. Yeah. Like, yeah, but you but said that no. 
Yeah, but I I want to like my dream is to be like a housewife and take care of the kids. No, but it is. It no, is. it's good. Exactly it good. Yeah, yeah. I want to be a housewife yeah. and like <laughs> it's so weird, but be in the kitchen, mm -hmm. like bake homemade bread and take care of the children. And of course, if my husband makes a lot of money, that's mm -hmm. just the plus. But I want to be like settling in, do it good, and have a good like base and stuff. So yeah. Wow. So that's good. So we I appreciate mean, if it. He, if he makes a lot of money, that's just a plus. So that's what I mean about the answer no. <laughs> so so right. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you? You were laughing at your friend and she doesn't want to be a millionaire, she wants to be a housewife. Let her be housewife. I mean, when someone asks me if I want to be a millionaire, yeah, I want to be a millionaire, but that's not the goal. It's yeah. not that I wake up every day and I say my dream is to be a million millionaire. My dream is to be happy and if what makes me happy uh, brings me a company, and if it brings me a company, it brings me into having a million do dollars or euros or anything like, I'm happy with that, and I want that, so I don't want to be a housewife. <laughs> Good, so that's a personal preference, yeah. but what makes you happy? The sea makes me happy, I like that I live next to the sea, the weather makes me happy, good food makes me happy, being around my friends but now that I live in Malta, it's a little different, difficult. Simple things make me happy, when I do something, I work hard on it and I, f I see that it has a good result. Let's say that you become a millionaire, you yeah. have a million USD or million pounds, euros in your, yeah. pa million pounds in your bank account, what do you do with that money? Go shopping. <laughs> That's it? No, I would I would give some to my family, obviously, mm -hmm. and I treat myself, and then I put some away and be be smart about it. Wow, yeah, that's great. Yeah. How about you? If you become a millionaire, what would you do with that money? Um, the first thing I'd do is I'd buy a house. I really want to get on the property ladder, ladder, so I would buy a house. Maybe put the rest into savings. I'm not sure. Why? I just need a house. <laughs> you need a house. Why? Why? I live with my family still. Wow. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, London's okay. expensive. That's great. So let's say that if you have a chance to go 10 years ago, what would you do or what advice you would give to yourself? Oh, I would just say live life. Like, don't worry about the little things. There's so many bigger things in this world that could be worse. Like, you could have it so much worse. So just be grateful for everything you have because people do have it rough and we don't. You? Don't take life too serious and enjoy it. And things happen for a reason. So just go with the flow. Some women want to be in the process to make make her husband rich and also support her husband but uh, some woman wants to be at the end result don't want to be in a process they want to find only the end result when to find a rich husband not to be in the process i believe that if you want uh, like a, a nice husband you cannot just like like find the end result you cannot just like go and find a rich husband that is just like a kind of a, like the over like the like the tough kind of if you know what I mean it's just like you cannot just like go out and say he's rich I want him I don't think you can do that I think you can have like you have to be with him in the start you have to support him you have to like encourage him you have to lift him up I think it's too easy to just go out and be like he's rich let me get him because then it's just like money bags and yeah if you know what I mean yeah, yeah. And who is the boss in your relationship me <laughs> you agree I feel like we're both the boss in the relationship, yeah, to be honest. 50-50. Like both have no idea what we're doing, but... But what keeps your relationship longer? Uh, communication. If she makes more money than you in the future, would you be okay with that? Yeah, yeah, there's, I don't see why that would be a problem, yeah. It doesn't matter how much she makes, really. She's, she's my girlfriend, isn't it? So... Makes sense. How about you? If he is not working, let's say, a month or a year, would you be supportive for that income or you for covering expenses by yourself? If we were like financially stable, then yeah. If you are right now how you are, would you be able to support or what would you be like? What would you do? What would be your reaction that he doesn't want to continue with that career path or he wants to change the career? He wants to chase his dreams, but the dream doesn't pay much. What would you do? Help him. In what sense? Continue working. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So like... you would work hard? Yeah. So covering the expenses by yourself? Yeah. What should they do? Like a younger girls, they want to start modeling. What should they do? What should they know? They should be like very confident and don't be scary about new things. So anyone can be a model? Yes. Really? Yeah. 
Okay. Because when I was young, I was um, like a little fat girl. And when I grow up, I wanted to be better. So I lose weight and my agency followed me in Instagram. And now I started formulating for seven years. What is your guilty pleasure? <laughs> wine, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wine. Going to the pub with friends in London. That would be my answer. Let's say per week, uh, how many times you go to the pub? Two times, probably. Right. Yeah. So each time, how much do you spend? A pint in London is seven pounds. So that's like probably 11 or so. Yeah, maybe 10 euros something. London's pints are expensive. For people in their early 20s, like your peers, they want to have their own financial freedom, not to work for companies. They want to escape from nine to five, escape from the yeah. matrix. What advice you would give to them, even though you don't follow, but you can give advice? Do what works for you. I know people who love to be in a nine to five job because it gives them stability, but I do not like stability in things where things are the same. I like it that it's not the same every day for example also my work so really just do whatever feels good for you and what is manageable for you to do for long term that would be my advice for sure relationship advice for our community just trust trust someone financial advice don't quit a job unless you have another one to go back to that's important yeah I agree how about you just don't spend your money on loads of beer don't go out on the weekends save your money stay inside <laughs> yeah pretty much right <laughs> I, relationship advice. Just stay honest, communication. It's the best it's the best way to be. Amazing. And this guy promised you he's quitting alcohol, quitting from splurging money. Okay, as soon as he's going back to the UK. Yeah. Look for smaller startup companies to sort of get your foot in the door. You learn so much so quickly. The only reason I'm now where I am is because I started in a startup and then worked there for two, two years. And it was really intense and really hard work. But it meant that I could then go to bigger companies, having had more experience and start higher rather than having to start at the bottom at a bigger company. But yeah, that would be my advice. Oh, yeah. Is it important to have a university degree? I, I, it depends on your career, I guess. I think fundamentally for mine, no, but I probably wouldn't have had the opportunities at the beginning mm -hmm. if I didn't have a degree. At the end, any financial or personal development advice for our community? Uh, just confidence, fake it till you make it, just blag your way through, lie, just get there. Well, not lie, but be creative in selling yourself, I'd say, without lying. Thank you very much no for worries. your great answer. Enjoy no your worries. drinking. Yo, yeah, guys, that's it, basically. I'm definitely sure you enjoyed with this episode too again a quick reminder recently i joined a youtube partnership program that means you will see a lot from behind the scene how this process is going on just for joining to members only community don't forget today's video sponsor is you as always hit the like and subscribe button i'll see you in the next video bye